What's up, buddy? Isn't G here coming at you with another Halo 5 video? And today I'll be talking about all the new Halo news that has just been put onto Halo Waypoint by Bravo in this weekly news. So, guys, let's jump right into this video. So, start off with all the rest of the terrible wrecks have been revealed for the new Hogwild wreck drop because it's not really going to be a DLC because there's no new maps or game modes so I'm not really looking forward to it but as I said I'll still take the free DLC so as you can see here we have now got rally warthogs which have got increased speed and increased armor and for god's sakes I so don't want to get that scout warthog why would anyone want a new scout warthog and what's the point in having a rally warthog which you can't do any rallying in if we haven't got a race game mode I know they did say they are holding back some of the DLC for next month, but considering this one is all about vehicles, this should have definitely had race in it. But I so hope race is in the next update. Anyway, enough talking about these stupid Rally Warthogs, despite how cool the paint job is on them. Moving on to the next thing, were the awesome hybrid scopes, which as I said, are mixed with the Covenant technology, so they've basically got carbine scopes on which look pretty cool. Um, might want to grab my hands on a couple of them because there'll be all the variants so energy bayonet yeah you get the picture and we've got some more weird armor sets which i'm not really looking forward to getting because they don't really look that cool um there's also a couple new emblems one or two of them look pretty decent i'd happily take some of them but the rest of them are pointless as usual see more flipping numbers you know three for three i really think you should ditch the numbers because eventually we're just gonna get really many numbers and stuff this is pointless so just stop now um and some new shiny weapon skins which are cool because everyone loves to pimp their gun out right guys so that's all that is coming inside the new update also there is that cool rocket hog but i already mentioned that in the last video we already know what that is so i'm just gonna move on now to the other weekly news inside halo which is way more interesting this new dlc which actually comes up tomorrow today is the 30th of may and tomorrow's the 31st so tuesday if you don't really know your days of the week but if you don't you're pretty stupid yeah so that's comes up tomorrow so might do a bit of video on that possibly depends if i get any of the crappy wrecks or whatever anyway on with the other news so in other halo news warzone is gonna be getting some well fixes well not really fixes but just some additions so basically warzone bosses will refresh us so now we're gonna have random bosses instead of the fixed ones like commander loca ghost and all them fun people and also we will be getting new refreshes for warden they're gonna be getting some new like paint jobs and stuff and there's gonna be some color toughness difficulties to measure them by so this is we implement into Warzone Firefight when that DLC drops next month and that DLC is going to be the largest content update so far as it will be the last one in the set series. So the toughness levels are for the Covenant, there is Campaign Colors which is the regular easiest, Red which is the intermediate and White which is the highest difficulty and for the Forerunners it is Campaign Colors for the easiest orange for intermediate and red for the hardest all these new well all the bosses are gonna have unique wreck weapons so i assume that's gonna mean they're gonna have all like the legendary mythic wrecks for their characters and stuff would be really cool they don't pick up a couple of blood of suit bands of a couple covenant enemies and whatnot and i just think this is gonna be a really cool addition i can't wait for them to implement it into the game as that'll just be a really cool addition to bring more people back to warzone instead of playing infection also, a lot of speculation has been happening in the Halo community over the past couple of days about this thing that was on the cannon fodder, about Cortana working with the Grunts or Ungoy with some new technologies and armor and stuff. This has led people to speculate about it over E3 and stuff, which is just around the corner, and I'm really excited for E3 this year. I think I'm definitely going to cover a lot of the content coming out of that. So, we also know about E3 that Halo Wars 2 will be there and it will be playable so if any of you guys are going to E3 make sure you go and play Halo Wars 2 I didn't really play much of Halo Wars 1 but I'll probably end up getting Halo Wars 2 anyway so apparently Bravo said there's something else at E3 but they can't really talk about so open to more speculations sound off in the comment section down below what you guys think is gonna be hopefully something cool maybe announcement for Halo 6 who 
knows. Or maybe something to do with the Halo TV show, which has been confirmed. And I'm pretty sure that'll be pretty, pretty seek. So, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe if you are new around here. Make sure to drop a like and comment. All your thoughts and opinions about these new wrecks and whatnot in the comment section below. So guys, I hope you did enjoy this video and I'll see you all in my next one. Laters!